In this video, we're going to cover adding inventory to our dispensary. The best practice for inventory is to put your live for sale inventory onto the sales floor. This will allow your bud tenders to sell out of that inventory. And for any overstock items that will be waiting to be sold, we'll want to add this to our not for sale room. When logged into FlowHub, you'll see that we have multiple options on the left side of the page. We're going to begin by selecting the inventory option. This will bring us to our inventory page. Let's select the plus symbol at the top right of the page. This will bring up our add new inventory item window. As you can see, our category is going to default to bulk flour. Let's start by adding some flour into our flow hub. All the fields we see in this window with the asterisk are going to be required to be filled out before we can add the flour into our inventory. The first required field is our package tag number. If you are in a metric state, this will be required for reporting your sales to metric. If you're not in a metric state, we can leave this field blank. Next, we're going to add our batch number. Once the batch number has been added, we're then going to add a batch date. Next, we're going to associate this item with a supplier license. If you recall, we added our suppliers back in phase one. When I select the supplier license, I'll have a drop down of my suppliers. If you don't see the supplier you're looking for initially, begin typing the name in to populate the specific supplier. Next, we're going to select our strain name. Once we've selected a strain, we're going to associate that with a price profile. The next field we're going to fill out is the total weight of the package and the cost of the package. For this, I'm going to put in $1,000 for my half pound package of 224 grams. As you can see, FlowHub will break down the cost per gram for us. Lastly, we can assign this inventory to a room. I'm going to type in my quantity of 224 and assign this to my sales floor. Now let's select save and close and we'll see this item populate in our inventory. If you're not seeing the item, let's make sure to select the status all filter at the top of the page and select the in store option from the drop down. In summary, we selected the plus at the top right of the page and entered the required fields associated quantity and added an item to our inventory. Once you've completed this step, update this task status to done. If you need help, click the stuck button in your email or at mention us in the notes of this task.